第十九條啦，就係問開花植物佢哋嘅根部咧有咩嘅用處？咁啊嗱，頭兩個咧必然係正確噶啦，一個就係找緊泥土，一個就係吸水同埋吸 minerals。呢個咧我相信都唔需要特別去多講噶啦，就只係爭在咧最尾尾嗰個究竟關唔關事咁解啫。咁所以啦，我哋咧一定係要知道翻啦，嗰個 asexual reproduction in the flowering plants 其實就係我哋嘅 vegetative propagation 營養繁殖法。咁其實一棵植物咧都有一啲部分。系可以叫做營養部分嘅，就係、是、葉啦、茎啦同埋根嘅。咁所以啦，其實佢今次問你根有咩用啊嘛 ？Vegetative propagation， 因為啦條根咧都可以作為一個儲存食物嘅器官。咁即使而家個環境咧係幾咁唔良好啊，好凍啊，好乾燥啊，都仍然生存得到。咁例如去到春天嘅時候啦，温度上升翻啊，雨水又多翻啊，咁所以啦佢就可以繼續繁衍落去啦。咁所以 vegetative propagation 咧。都係關事嘅，咁所以答案呢就係 D 啦。而下面呢就畀咗個例子你，我哋嘅蘿蔔呢就係其中一款典型嘅 root tuber， 就係利用個根部呢去儲存嘢食。咁當一個適當時間、適當環境嘅時候啦，佢就繼續茁壯咁成長啦。Question nineteen is asking the function of the root in the flowering plant. So for the first two functions, anchorage and the absorption, you must know it for the absorption of water and minerals. So anchorage of the soil, so it must be a easy answer. But what about the option three, vegetative propagation? So we really need to recall the asexual reproduction in the flowering plant, which is the vegetative propagation. So in the plant, there are some vegetative part, including leaves, stem, and root. So because the vegetative part, they can act as the storage organ with the stored food. So that's why they can still survive in a very adverse condition, very very cold, very dry seasons. And then when spring it comes, means that it becomes warmer and more water supply by raining, and also maybe more sunlight, longer daytime. So that's why the plant can reproduce, can grow again. So that's why option three is also correct, and the answer is D. And the picture I show you, it is a carrot. Which is a type of root tuber to store the food, and then once the spring comes, then they can grow and reproduce again.